Question 15. Write vector equation of each line parallel to x-axis and through point A, which is 2, 3. Parallel to y-axis and through P, 1, 2, 3. The inter x-intercept is 1 and the y-intercept is 2. Well, this is to test your knowledge on lines, simple lines. And you need to figure out all these equations. I'll suggest make a sketch and then write your equation. It may help you. Visualize. Vectors is all about visualization. Okay. So write down your answers and then look into my suggestion. So here is how I will go about. Part A says parallel to x-axis and through point to 3 is 2 dimension, right? So we'll draw a 2 dimension figure and this one is seems to be very familiar to us, right? The point is 2, 3, right? That means x value is 2, y value is 3 and is parallel to x-axis. That means a horizontal line, correct? So that is our horizontal line and we know equation of this line is what? Uh, we know y equals to 3 because at each and every value y is 3. So we say y equals to 3 is the equation of this line. Now we have to write the vector equation. So how will you write the vector equation of this line? The vector equation of this line can be written as r equals to, we already know the point, right? The point is 2 comma 3 plus t times what? So what is the direction? Direction numbers. Let's look for the numbers a and b. So if you are moving, let's say this, let's translate this line to our x-axis, right? We can bring it here. So here in x we can move, let's say we move one unit towards x, then how much in y? We don't move in y. So we just move along x-axis, that means 1, 0. Do you see that? So that's how we get our direction number and that is 1, 0. Do you see? So our direction vector is 1, 0. Do you understand? So, when we say parallel to x axis, right, that means x is 1 and the others are 0. Do you see that? And that's how you see parallel means just move along x axis. So t could be 1, 2, 3, 4, giving us different values of t, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as we move along, correct? But x, y value remains same, 3. Do you see that? y value remains same, 3. So the line is same distance away from x. That is how you have to visualize it. I hope that helps, okay? Because we are moving on to the next question, which is 3D. The idea of part A is from familiarity, we are taking you to imaginary world to make that familiar, okay? So here we are, 3D. Parallel to y-axis and through the point 1, 2, 3. So this is our 3D figure, correct? That's y-axis, correct? 1, 2, 3 means what? 1, 2, 3 means x value is 1, let's say 1, and then 2 value of y, so you say 1, 2, and the z value of 3, so you say 1, 2, 3. So that is our line. Do you see that? Rather, <laughs> that is that is a point, right? So the point is here in 3D, right? That is how you can make it. But it has to be parallel to y-axis. We'll follow the same principle here. So the idea here is that the y will be 1 and x and z directions is 0. Then it becomes parallel to y-axis. Do you get my point? So here the vector equation of the line will be equals to the point 1 to 3 plus t times what is 1? y value parallel to y axis and others are 0. Do you see that? Then it becomes parallel to y axis. Do you see that? That is how we have to write our equations for this. Ready? Now, uh, we, we can look into it in so many different ways. For example, now if you split this up, let's try to analyze it. If you split this up, then we have x is equal to 1 all the time. Do you see that? x is equal to 1 because t is 0, right? And y is 
equals to 2 plus t. Do you see that? And z is equals to 3. Do you see? So that means it is moving only along x axis. Do you see? And x and z values are fixed at 1 and 2. So it becomes parallel to y axis. That's another way of looking into the same thing that may help you to visualize it better, right? Take the approach which you like. Let's move on to part C. The x-intercept is 1 and the y-intercept is 2. You have to find vector equation of the line. How are you going to do this? If x-intercept is 1, and let's assume we are talking about our three, three dimensions now, okay? Now, if x-intercept is 1, that means what is the point? x-intercept 1 means 1 for x and 0 for others, correct? x-intercept is 1. So this point is 1, 0, 0. y-intercept is 2. y-intercept of 2 will mean 0, 2, 0, correct? So we have two points and now there is no problem in writing a vector equation, correct? So the vector equation for this is let me write here as r equals to, we can choose any one of these points. The point is 1, 0, 0, plus t times direction, right? 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 2 is minus 2, 0 minus 0 is 0. That's what, so simple as that. I hope you appreciate how to get equations of lines. Thank you.